Hi guys, thanks for tuning into the Scan Tool Network. In this video, it's just a quick demonstration of the X Tool D7. We're in a VW Golf here, which has the check engine light and the airbag light, and it's just a really basic uh, video just to show you this tool working on a VW Golf and how it displays the fault codes um, and what kind of special functions you can do, etc. So uh, I'm just going to turn that heating off there. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we've got this tool plugged into the diagnostic port, and I'm just going to click on to diagnosis. Um, you've got across the top here a list of like continents so you can choose which manufacturer from each continent you want to use so we're going to use VW here but while I'm on this screen I'll just show you the American manufacturers the Asian manufacturers Chinese and Australian okay if you see an icon with the red arrow or well a red circle with a white arrow inside that means an update is available for that particular software so uh, it's not going to affect the performance of this tool in this video though but we can update this as and when we need to All right so we we'll click on to VW and we'll go to automatic detection it'll automatically find the vehicle so it's telling us it's a 2018 VW Golf, which is correct. Full system diagnosis, so this gives you access to all of the systems within the vehicle. And it'll allow you to do diagnostic tests, view live data, for example. Um, the first one I'll do, actually, we'll go into engine electronics. And I'm going to show you the type of fault information you would get for a fault. So it's given, you, it's given us two fault codes here relating to the check engine light. It's giving us two bits of information, so two uh, descriptions of the faults. And uh, if you weren't sure what these meant, just simply put them into a Google search engine. Uh, and I can guarantee if you're having this problem, thousands of others will have had this problem. And the, the fix and the answer to what you need to do will be on there. In this case, we're getting these faults because there was a faulty mass airflow sensor, which has now been uh, replaced and so that we need to reset everything on the computer. So you can either click on clear trouble code or you can go back and go clear trouble code that way. Click yes to that. When I click this yes button, just keep an eye on the check engine light. And there we go, check engine light is off. Incidentally, one thing I want to point out about this tool is if we go to the, uh, oh no, not the ECU, where is it? Live data, all right? Um, packet flow data. Gives you lots and lots of live data. You can do like DPF live data. Um, there's so many different sections within the engine system that it will give you fantastic live data that just the uh, the cheaper tools just will not give you. Um, there was one that I was looking for in particular. This might be this one here, and it is. Um, let's see if we can see. It. it might be like right down the bottom. Uh, I've gone a bit too quick there for the tool. Sorry, I've just, I think I've, I have crashed it, but I've, I've gone too quick for the tool. Oh, cancel, all right. Well, anyways, what, what I was trying to show you, and I might show you while I'm explaining this, is um, there was a, there's an option to where you can check the uh, the correct mileage of the vehicle so it reads the mileage from the uh, the ECU and not necessarily the odometer so we'll come back onto the screen here so let's see if we can find this bit of live data which tells us the vehicle distance as I say it reads it from the ECU get there in a second hopefully uh, vehicle distance driven so this is the one that we need so if we just select that it might be just taking a long time because there's, there's like 261 here so it needs time to sort of load these up but what you can do is it'll give you like a value in a unit so it'll probably give us it in uh, kilometers per hour or kilometers uh, but it'll tell you the correct distance that the, the the ECU has done as opposed to the odometer so it'll give you an indication as to whether it's somebody has uh, changed the mileage somewhere along the line um, I've already checked it with this vehicle the mileage is correct so what we're seeing on screen matches up with what's on the odometer so that's a good indicator ah, there we go uh, vehicle distance driven so 31,000 
uh, kilometers pretty much and that is in kilometers when you convert that it's about that so we're, we're okay with that but anyway sorry I, I, that took a, a long time but it shows you the, the the different kinds of live data you're gonna get in any case um, it's just a little bit slow because there's so much there so I'm just trying to get out of this And then what we'll do is we'll show you the uh, the airbag system as well. So we'll go to the airbag system. Go read trouble code. Again, that's the trouble code we were getting. And this time we'll just use this clear trouble code. Keep an eye on the airbag light. And the airbag light has gone. Okay, so those are, as I say, it covers all systems within all vehicles really. But one other thing to show you is the special functions or the service functions as they're also known. And this is where you can do lots of things that the, the dealers in the garages would mainly normally do. So like your steering angle sensors, throttle calibrations, electronic park and brake for opening and closing the calibers, oil reset, injector coding, TPMS, battery registration, uh, DPF regeneration, ABS brake bleeding, suspension calibration, there's a lot of things here that this tool can do. Um, it's a it's a it's a really really good package. Um, but then it, there again, um, I'm only here to show you the the basic functions. So um, that is it. As I say, there are there are fakes, there are clones. So if you are interested in picking up one of these tools, just make sure to uh, use the link in the description below this video because the fakes and clones can damage your vehicle and they, they can and will damage your vehicle. So it's it's not worth going down that route. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope this helps.